Yeah, I think I've already told you a couple of my passions. So um, another one of mine is um, really understanding things. Um, so I love to spend all day looking around data and things that surprise me that I don't really, I'm not able to explain. And um, one of them, the story starts with Google. So we all trust Google, right? So we search for something and then you click on the top link and you were looking for the Olympic Games and you find yourself at women's health base. Now the bad news is it's not that the ranking is wrong, it's your browser having malware and just tripping you off on its own to some site you didn't want to go to. Now, why would anybody write malware to inform you about women's health issues? Well, it's all about money. And it's about advertising, where people profit on showing ads to people in places they didn't want to be. Now, here's another scheme, so that's not the only one, that was shut down by the FBI recently that actually collected information about you. So the question is, how big of a problem is that really? Now, if you believe Comscore, in 2012, 36% of all internet traffic is non-intentional. Tells you something about the effectiveness of the FBI, I guess. Um, so and it has increased vastly over the last uh, year. Now, what got me interested is this traffic now shows up at your retail site too. All right, so we have malware that ships you off to women's health to show your ads. Why would that also come to your retail site? Well, retargeting is apparently the name of the game. I'm sure you all had the experience of looking at a product and then being bothered with ads for that thing, whether you bought it or not, for the next three months, right? So you can make a lot more money on these fake ads if first you send people to a retailer. Now, from the retailer's perspective, if you have a boss who only cares about numbers, that's great, right? Your hits went up. Um, if you look at it from the consumer, not only is my computer hijacked, I'm worried about viruses, I'm getting a whole bunch of ads, I for sure will avoid going to your site for the next future. And by the way, all your web analytics is wrong. So what are we going to do about this? How can we identify this problem and deal with it? And when you actually look at this site, you can't tell. There's actually information there that was probably scraped elsewhere and put up there, so it looks quite normal. There's nothing really surprising about this site. What is not normal is how people got there. So we're here looking at data that we got from bid requests and ad exchange, and we show when people are going to one site, 50% of those visitors are then shipped off to a different one. So this is the co-visitation graph here, and that's the world as of 2010. So you see a nice network there. Every edge means that people on one side went also to the other, 50% of them. And let's look at one of these small uh, little substructures down there. And this actually turns out to be the Boston Herald. So, all right, people search. Looks reasonable, right? So, would make sense that people read about Boston, then go off to some uh, specific site about it. Now, remember our friend Women's Health Base? Anybody want to venture a guess as to where to find it? Take a pick. Where do you want to go? Yeah, and I didn't pick it that way. I knew about it before. So let's take a close look as to where it is, right there. Well, these women must have a lot of free time. They're surfing around all day long, right? Look at all these different hosts that they go to and the strength of the connection. And if you actually spend some time digging around in more detail, well, they also, 50% of them go to documentary at China TV and wrestling news. <laughs> so I rest my case here and I stick to Simon. This by no way could be human behavior. So forward 2012, a lot more of that. You see so many of these sites out there with a lot of connections in between them, and we call it the black hole. People just disappear in there. So your browser's taken over to the dark side. Uh, women's health space still in the middle of everything. By now, I can't even show you anymore what all these different URLs are. So when we find you in there, we declare you taken over and we'll ignore you for the time being. Fun facts. If your URL contains the term mom, it's three times more likely to be in one of these malicious networks. If it shows arcade, five times. And yes, there actually are URLs for mom arcades. <laughs> <laughs> so I would really love to thank uh, our team for collecting all that and putting it together, um, helping me build it. And if you want to know what these two guys have to do with anything, you have to go and look at our blog about, uh, blog about my big data is bigger than yours.